humbling experience. And, um, you know, being here too, although this isn't the hall where I had my first fundraiser, I had my first fundraiser at the Morrisette Post over in West Quincy back in 1987. And so it's only, I think, fitting that I'm here tonight. And uh, the people involved with this post, the Veterans Group, to all to see have been great. Everybody, right across the room, and I really, I just, I can't say thank you enough to everybody. Um, we had teams that did coffee hours, we had computer teams, we had, com you name it, we had standout teams, we had people in Braintree, we had people in Rockland, Holbrook, Abington, all over, we had police officers, firefighters, doctors, lawyers, teachers, preachers, you name it. <laughs> Going back, we met, I've met people on every campaign, and there have been people that have been friends ever since. Each campaign is cumulative. And I, if there's one thing I hope of all this, one is I hope that I uphold the trust that you've placed in me. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two, I hope that all of you, over the next year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, remember this, remember the friendships you made, because that's the most important thing. It's all about the people who get involved and what they can accomplish and what it means for the city and for the state. You can't make change unless good people get involved. Don't believe the cynics. Get involved in a campaign and you'll see that things are good in this city, things are good across the Commonwealth, and things are good across the country as long as there's people like all of you. And I know that sounds a little pan, pat or whatever, but it's just so, so true. So thank you all very much. I love you all very much. I can never say thank you enough. And I just hope that I meet your expectations to do the job that we need to have done. Thank you. Good night. Have some fun.